story back here at home. More than 30 kids with disabilities or illnesses got to fly through the clouds this morning at Skylark Field in Colleen, all thanks to an organization founded by a local pilot. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore tells us how the flying Vikings are changing lives. Andrew. Chris, let's face it, many of us don't get the chance to go over 100 miles an hour, 4,000 feet above the ground in a small plane, and I'd be lying to say if it wasn't a little scary, but it is an experience that these kids will keep with them forever. Come on in, sir. Steven Restivo has Down syndrome. On some days, it means other kids can do things he can't. Today was quite the opposite. Go to the runway and we're just going to take off. Pretty easy, right? Today, he got to fly. In the co-pilot's chair, Stephen would get to take the controls under the guidance of a local flying instructor. His mom recorded the whole thing. <laughs> but Stephen wasn't the only kid that took flight. 32 other children with illnesses and disabilities also got to take a ride in the sky. Shelby Burgess normally needs a walker to get around, but today was an upgrade. When we're going fairly fast. The event was created by local pilot Paul Hansen, but it is far from his first. He started providing plane rides to kids 15 years ago and now travels the country with his organization. For him, it was a personal calling. Started working with a mentorship program backed by Philadelphia for at-risk kids. It spread to kids with disabilities. And then I said, ah, that's where I gotta be. And for parents, seeing their own kid take the controls proves what is possible for them to achieve and experience especially with a community that understands. Be what they want to be and they don't get judged by it. Where other kids usually when they do regular sports with regular kids, there's a lot of judgment. But today, there was no judgment. And for these kids, more than ever, the sky was the limit. Now the Flying Vikings say they are constantly expanding and working to hold more events, but they do partially depend on donations to keep the program going. So we'll tell you how you can get involved and help at KCENTV.com. Chris? All right, Andrew, thanks so much.